Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I hope your eyes aren't hurting from seeing this very old version of Blender. But people use this on a day-to-day -day basis, I have no idea how. So two years ago, I set myself a challenge of making a rig for Blender 2.79. I finished it last year. I don't actually know if I started it two years ago or if I started it last year and I just had the empty blend file just sitting there. But we will visit the blend file and you'll understand why you don't want to use this version of Blender. So here it is. So first of all, we got to reload trusted because yeah. So by the way, make sure you, you open it reload trusted because nothing will work. Like, I mean, look, like, oh, I already used the left click. Whoops. So the bends don't. Yeah. Y yeah. So just reload it trusted. Okay. There we go. Now the rigs, um, the rig, it's actually functional. Yes. Yeah, so it is just a normal blocky rig. Um, you know, everything's normal nothing too buggy the bends are not straight and i'll tell i'll tell you why later on but yeah there there are reasons for mistakes scattered across this rig however we have got the bendy bones in so that's nice heads working we got the, the the gear right here avatar detail all that so how was this a challenge for me because you know people like the aesthetic community they they use this all the time so i mean how was this a challenge for me so for me, this was a bit of a challenge because the Blender version is actually what I started out on. I started Blender 2.8, but then I actually started using it properly on 2.79. And when I switched to 2.8 and then 2.9 and I got to 3.0 and then 4.0, yeah, you get what I mean. I realized there's a lot missing in 2.79, especially for riggers. For a start, uh, if you've seen how to make a Roblox rig series, you'll know what I'm talking about. But when you create bones and you want them to go to the other side, there is a tool for that in 2.8 and over, and it's called Symmetrize. But that's not a thing in Blender 2.79, like literally not a thing. So um, there was a little bit of cheating. Another issue is that you literally can't select multiple objects at the same time and then edit them. Like you can, you can select them, but if you go in edit mode, it only edits one. So that's an issue and I don't know if there is a way to do that but I tried and I couldn't find anything. Another thing that was challenging and brought me back to the old days of rigging is that when 3.0 came out you could transform bone shapes and because of that you didn't have to create a load of different shapes and then edit them with 3D theory or like your own 3D knowledge so that you can know how they would look you wouldn't have to go into edit mode and move them around so they'd look correct but you have to in, in older versions and I'm not going to lie, I was kind of used to this for a bit and I lost it because 3.0 gave you the tools and abilities. Yeah, 2.79 isn't necessarily that painful. What is painful is going back to the old sort of days, not the old days, but let me try and explain it. When you're used to something and you're fine with it and the next thing you know, something comes along and makes it way easier for you. In fact, removes the need to do that certain thing you lose it. I mean, it's like you use it or lose it with Blender and anything that you learn. And I lost all my knowledge in doing bone shapes. And I'm happy I got that back. It's, it's not, it's not really that hard. I don't know why I make it so complicated, but yeah. So it really taught me a valuable lesson about appreciating things. Like, I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to over glorify this rig. One thing you can see is that there are not actually that many modifiers that I would add. Usually there's only subdivision surface and, uh, armature usually you'd have like the whole edge split modifier the weight paint modifier i don't think yeah so no weight paint modifier sorry weight weighted normals modifier weighted normals is not here edge split is here so i could have done that but i don't think i could be bothered to be fair but um yeah so was this rig painful to make yes very it was also a good lesson to learn about how it was back then because I never rigged in 2.79. Only 2.8 is when I started. So it is nice to see how rigging was back then. But I will admit that I did cheat. Actually, previously before this rig, I saved a base armature for the blocky rig uh, to make rigging easier. And I literally just imported it as an FBX into Blender 2.79. I'm sorry. But the thing is that I could not deal with the idea of having to copy everything and then make it numerically correct on your own instead of just like symmetrizing it. it's such a more efficient tool i don't know why it isn't in here maybe it's like control m or something but the other thing the other thing that what the 
What? The other thing that makes me really weirded out about how Blender's thing works with left click and right click is that some things that you'd expect to be right clicked are left clicked and the things that you expect to be right clicked because everything else is right clicked is not right clicked. It's super stupid. Like if I go control B to box select, I have to use a left click to do that. If I go control B with right click, it just cancels it because even though right click is selecting, it also is cancelling. It really makes, it's like, it's a whole thing you have to learn. I, no. Anyways, the rig is functional. Uh, I didn't mess it up. Apart from the fact that the bends are weird, because as I said, you can't edit. See, that's what I mean. As I said, you can't edit multiple models at the same time. So the, the shape key is not accurate. But I doubt the, the average viewer is going to notice. But I doubt the average animator would want to use that, want, would want to use this rig. Anyways, it's a, it's a really, it's a really bare bones rig which oh i'm using the wrong shortcut it's a really bare bones rig which is just like it's, it's just a rig it works there's no ik or anything there's nothing too insane about it it's just a rig and you can get it off of gumroad right here is the rig on gumroad 2.79 rig this is a mess and i made this render for it just because you know let's do one more cpu render since actually my gpu doesn't work with the 2.79 it's not it's too 2.79 is too old to support it but um yeah so if you wanna if you wanna experience basically pain but at the same time i guess learn how blender 2.79 works you can use the rig i don't know it was a, it was a little passion project so yeah there you go thank you for watching i hope this helps you see you next time Bye bye